popcorn makers. They are brilliant, but there's one problem with them. They're just too practical. So I've come up with the world's least practical, most impractical popcorn maker. Uh, this is my popcorn, but the popcorn maker is outside. Mm, come this way, watch out for the cables. This is all about, come down here, come down. This is all about the <laughs> electromagnetic, careful though. This is all about the electromagnetic spectrum, okay? So light is part of the electromagnetic spectrum, that's the visible light. Then you've got longer wavelengths of energy, and that is infrared light. Now, infrared light, it's the heat that comes down from the sunshine. You can feel that, I can feel that just by standing here, and it's really nice. But what we've got here is we can focus infrared light. What I've got here is a parabolic reflector, okay? Now, this is a beautiful curve that's been built in this mirror, and it will take all of those rays from the sunshine, they'll bounce onto this the whole thing, which is about a metre and a half wide, probably cost me about 80, 90 quid, and they should focus all of the beams, all of that infrared energy into one place, which is right there in the middle. It's a bit chilly, um, so whether or not this is going to work, who knows? I'll put a little bit of oil in, and <laughs> whenever, whenever it catches you, you get that, all that focused light right in your eyes. It's really, really painful. Now it is, uh, it's cold, it's springtime, it's March, but look, we've managed to get a little bit of, the, of this light and it's already causing a little bit of smoke there. So I might chuck my popcorn in and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. This could take hours. There's a massive cloud about to hit us as well. So who knows? That's a 74 degrees, 75 degrees. There's a massive cloud. Can you see the cloud up there? You probably can't. It's just about to hit. Come on! I just see one pop. Give me one pop. Oh, I think we may have lost it. 73 degrees, 75, 78. It is moving up. And then it's moving back down again. No, no! <laughs> the sun has just gone back in. So uh, there's actually a slight gap in the clouds. There's a wispy cloud that's come through. There's a massive cloud that's just about to overtake. But we, please, can we can try and get some in before it goes? OK, I might put a bit too much oil in. Oh, no. oh look, look. OK, we've got 100 degrees. Yes! <laughs> 110 degrees. 120 degrees. Come on, baby. Yes! Come on, you can do it. Keep going. Oh, no! <laughs> 100 quid and two pieces of popcorn before the sun goes in. I'm going to eat it anyway. Yeah, it's nice. Not 100 quid's worth though. The brilliant thing about these is that you can get soda ovens and they're made of cardboard with a kind of a silvery coating. And they're, they're sent out by charities to, to various um, very poor places around the world where there is a lot of sunshine and people can cook completely separated from the grid. They don't need to be near a town and they can be really useful. Not so good in North London. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, please come and subscribe to my channel and watch some more of my uh, failed experiments with food. <laughs>